wanted to talk about the Insta360 X3, and no, this is not sponsored. I bought this camera when I was in New York and after having it for two months now, I really wanted to give you my honest opinion. Now, I'm not gonna get into all the specifics and details on this. If you're looking for a really good breakdown, I highly recommend MKBHD's video on it. His videos are always good when it comes to tech. Now it's a no-brainer that this camera is meant for action shots. Snowboarding, skateboarding, biking, or if you're like myself, vlogging in the city. I got this camera for one particular reason though, and that's for the 360 part. I absolutely love it. I feel like it helps you, excuse me, feels like it helps you think of things differently when it comes to filming your videos. And plus, you can get some really funky angles like this. Two people I grab a lot of inspiration from is Casey Neistat and Jesse Wellings, and there's a lot more. They, but they actually made me want to get this camera. When I was first watching their footage, hopefully it's alright to use your footage, I was so blown away. It's like a drone that meets an action camera. It's really unique. You see, when I'm vlogging out in the city, I have no one else to help me film. So by having this camera, it really makes it look like someone is helping me film. That's a huge reason why I bought this. Now to get these weird wonky shots, you're gonna need a selfie stick that's 10 feet long. To be honest, you kind of look like a dork when you're out in the wild filming, and you'll have some people looking at you funny, but the footage you come back home with is so fun to play with. The next D. I can't believe it's only February and we just got like a 55 degree day. Spring's coming, I can feel it. So you're probably wondering about the pros and the cons. Let's go over them. You want the pros or you want the cons first? Let's go with the cons. I think that's what you picked. Alright, so after having this camera for two months now, my only gripe that I found with it is it's very slow at recording. Let me explain. You see, when you're out filming, you want to be fast, efficient, and effective. I noticed by hitting the record button, it takes a few seconds to actually start recording. Just like this. See how slow that is? I tried all of my SD cards in formatting them, and still, they all had the same issue. This problem can make you lose shots when you need something quick in the moment. As a vlogger, this is crucial. Insta360, don't take this as a diss. Maybe update this problem in future cameras. Other than that, I don't really have anything bad to say about this. I really see this camera with me 
when I want to get some funky angles when I'm not using this main camera. Okay, let's talk about the pros. We got that 5.7K 360 video. That's why we're here. It's waterproof. It's versatile. You can get so many creative shots with this little camera. The build quality. This little camera feels so robust and so like tight. I even dropped it and it didn't really even do much. Just created a little nick right here. Other than that, super solid. My favorite pro out of all of them though, is it's small and compact. When I'm vlogging out in the city, I want something lightweight, something where I can put into my pocket and not have to worry, or with my camera bag when I'm done for the day. Super nice. I wanted to make this video because I genuinely like using this camera. If I didn't, I would mention it, but I really see this camera with me in the future and I can't wait to get some more creative ideas with this camera. Anyways, if you guys have any comments or concerns, let me know down below. This is Ricky and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. No,